Hey, folks, it's Fifth Guy here. How you doing? So, our Valtra and our Challenger have been planting hard, and what I've done just temporarily, I have switched off of um, the help of buying the seed to use up this pallet. We're, we're nearly done. We've only got a few more passes on the field, so I'm not going to switch it back onto that. We'll just leave this little strip up through the middle if we need to. Um, I think we'll be fine. I think we've got plenty of poplars here that we can cut uh, as and when we need to. And what I'm actually planning to do is we'll do part of the field with the standard header um, on whatever forager that we're going to use. And then I will probably find a modded uh, Kemper header or something like that, you know, a wide one that has just been adapted to take poplars as well. Highly unrealistic, absolutely no way that would occur in real life whatsoever. However, it would allow us to finish the field um, at a reasonable rate. So my question that I asked you all last week was when we start the new map, Garali, after we've done 100 episodes on this map here, did you want me to use, to, to start off the map, with a million, and it's, it'll actually be euros because we'll be in Europe over there. So a million euros and 100 cows, a million euros and 150 sheep, million euros and 200 pigs or 1.5 million euros and I genuinely didn't know which way this was going to go I, um, I absolutely had no idea how people were going to be answering this um, and I, I was a little bit surprised at the responses to be honest um, which I haven't actually ta I've wrote I've written them all down but I haven't actually tallied them all up so I will do that in just a minute and then I will give you all of the results um, and in the meantime, this one can just carry on until he runs out. And then I'm also I'm going to meet you over at the dealership because what I'd like to do today, um, we will go and take another look back here at the main yard. We've got a few things that we want to do back there anyway um, with our bees and our sawmill and everything else. But we've been doing that quite a lot lately and I'd like to do something a little bit different. And I was thinking that, well, hay and grass are about half on the sheep. Um, the cows we've... Well, we don't have very much straw, but we can soon throw some of that in. We could do with a little bit more grass, really. We don't need masses of it, but what we do need is a bit of money. Um, and I don't think I have used the square bale wrapper on this map. So what I thought I would do is we, I think we've got the square baler down over there in the shed. Um, I want to mow the field over there and pos... Well, no, I don't think we'll mow this bit here, but we'll mow the field over there and we will rake it up. We've got the rake over there and then we will do square bales and we will wrap it um but we're not going to use the mower that i was using previously we're going to use a modded mower now a lot of people have been suggesting i use the crone big m mower and i have thought about that and i decided i would try a different one because someone has suggested it however the mod turns out to be somewhat awful to um put it mildly it's absolutely terrible this mod um, I've no idea where I took the... I'll explain it all when, when we have a look at it. I'll show you in just a minute. We'll let this one carry on and, yeah, I'll I'll meet you over at the dealership. This is the mod that I was talking about, the Class Cougar 1400. It's $75,000, which is woefully underpriced as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't know why it's saying three me... Oh, it's because I haven't actually got it selected. It's, it's um, it says 15 miles an hour. Doesn't give you much other information. And so we can lease it for six thousand dollars. We're going to lease this one. Okay, back, back, and back, and there we go. Right now, this mod has been converted directly from FS11, I believe. Now I've spent ages trying to hunt down the original link for this. I found one for FS11. I have not found any sign of one that has been converted. I'm going up to this thing. There we go. It's it's nothing about this thing is easy whatsoever so you've got to get to the very back of it to be able to get into it but that's actually that's one little aspect of it that I, I quite like because you've got to go up the steps so this is this is the um the class cougar now i did test it and maybe i, I did just try another link so maybe this one will be slightly better but we'll see switch it on it sounds okay i mean it's, it's a little bit different let's try folding it up it should actually turn the cab around as it folds up there we go so the cab spins around like that and wow okay so they oh no 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 that was right i'm turning left 
I'm currently turning left. Now I'm turning right. The steering is back front, okay? That's not the worst of it. The worst of it, not only do you have to steer backwards on this thing, the, the, the very worst part of it is that when you're mowing, because it, it's facing the other way, the controls for it aren't facing the other way. So it's, it's really badly converted. The textures are flat and horrible. Um, this mod is quite possibly one of the worst mods that I've ever actually committed to using in the game. Um, without a doubt. My other big issue that I've got with this mod is that it's, um, I can't find an original link. I have got a link, and I will include it. Um, it's one of those, it takes you to a site that I really don't like, but I, I've looked and I've looked, and I can't find the original link anywhere. Um, so if anybody does know the actual original link for this conversion, then please let me know, and I will provide a link for it. And I really, really hope that the person who took the time to convert this over is at least working on getting something out so that the controls are corrected, because at the moment I'm steering backwards, um, so I turn right to go left, I turn left to go right, which is a little bit confusing to say the least. Um, but you wait till we get up to the, t up to the field and actually start mowing. It gets worse. It does actually get worse. Anyway, my question that I asked you all, um, I was a little bit surprised at these responses because I, I did think that it was going to be, um, I actually thought that pigs might feature a bit more, um, uh, higher up the list. I genuinely did. But of the 2,729 people that answered this question, hang on, can we, oh, beacons work. Okay, ideal. What about uh, hazards? Have we got hazards anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Right. Um, yeah, 2,729 people answered this question. 131 of you wanted the 200 pigs and the 1 million. Then 247 of you wanted a straight 1.5 million. 415 said 150 sheep and 1 million and then finally 1936 people want me to start with 1 million euros and 100 cows now i was a little bit surprised at that i was surprised at just how geared um sort of towards the cows that one went um i didn't think it would be quite that much but there we go right it does appear that this one doesn't recognize crop destruction in any way so let me unfold it cab spins around. I love the fact that cab spins around. The model itself is really good, right? I like the model itself. Um, some of the, like, the details with the model, I mean, yes, obviously, it's, it, the colours and everything, the textures are flat, um, but I'm guessing that's because it was made for FS11, um, and obviously that game was a lot older than this one, so it's, um, things worked a lot differently, um, and, and the performance was a lot different. Right, let me just nip over and take a look at the Valtra a minute, and we will see how we're doing. 140 poplars left. Right, we'll probably get two more passes on the field. We'll finish this one on one more. Probably. I I'm not quite sure, but that's, that's my guess. So anyway, here we've got it like this. Now, I'm going to go forwards. That's going forwards. That's going backwards. Now, I'm guessing that hired help isn't going to do anything on this either. Uh, but we can try it. But we'll, we'll switch it on. You can't raise and lower. There's no raising and lowering whatsoever. You can switch it on. It's got a nice roar to it. And you can switch it off. So we switch it on. Oop. Now I've got to remember, I've got to go backwards to make this bit work. The grass is okay. That works fine. Now if I press H for hired help, nothing. There's, there's, there's no hired help available on this one. You do have to do it all yourself. Um, and now I'm actually steering the right way, but I'm having to go backwards. I've got my foot pressed on the reverse pedal, the, the brake pedal, the reverse, rather than going forwards. Um, so the controls are very, very poor, and I can't find an original link. So and that's the most important part is I really need an original link. I want anybody who's got any idea where this mod is um, turned up from, who converted it, anything, um, I did find a name, but I haven't been able to locate anything else whatsoever. So I really, really would love to know who made, who did the conversion work, or you know, I, I want a, I want a website. I want to be able to provide you with the right link because I don't have one. I'm going to include a link so that you can at least use it. Um, but yeah, it, it needs work, um, and I'm hoping that a new version will turn up. There you go. Look at the mowers. They, they, they're not brilliant. Um, but I'm guessing that is because of the game that it was made for, as opposed to the actual quality of the mod itself. The only issues 
that I can really find with this. I mean, actual issues that are is just the controls. The way that, you know, at the moment I'm going backwards rather than forwards. Um, and then if you do go, if, do, if we go the other way, is it going to keep mowing? Right, so it, it mows when you go the other way. So we could go backwards and then I'm having to steer in the opposite direction. So, yeah, generally speaking, this mod is awful when it comes to the actual controls. But it's doing the mowing and we've got a class cougar. One of these, this mower is phenomenal. It's huge. Look at the thing. Okay, I'm going all over the place here. I'll have to come, I'll have to just tidy that up afterwards. So, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to get a little bit more money than the 38,000 we've got so that we can um, get, uh, we, we've got enough money to be able to lease a forager so that we can do our um, poplar harvest. And at the moment, we, I don't think we've got enough money to do that. Right. Now I'm going forwards and then backwards. So yeah, it's, it's mowing really well. And we're doing huge, great big swath on this one. And like I said before, I did want... I was thinking about using the Chrome Big M. Now I know there's a couple of issues with the Chrome. Um, our worker has stopped. I will just get the Challenger on in a second. And we'll just use up the very last that one's got. And then that'll be it for popular planting, I think. Um... The Chrome Big M, I know that that's got one little issue where it like spews out a whole load of grass when you change one of the um, the mowing modes. I can't remember which one it is. Um, but I didn't want to use that one today. I'll probably end up bringing the Chrome Big M. I think there's actually two of them now. I think there's actually a bigger version that someone has um, produced and you can like choose different colours and stuff for it. But again, I'm struggling to find an original link for that one as well. So if anybody does know of the original link, I'll probably bring that one into the Rattlesnake Valley series because I'm thinking of doing a huge grass harvest in Rattlesnake Valley um, not just like the, the couple of meadows that I did last time but basically trying to cut every meadow that I can find across the entire map. It's probably going to be a two episode job to do that and then turn it all into silage bales and sell the lot. It's um, like basically it's, it's a massive project that I thought that I would have a go at and it would be great fun to try and do it um, but yeah, that's, um, I'm, so I'm, that's when I'm probably going to bring in the, the Chrome Big M, which is why I've not used it on this map. As someone suggested this mod, and I thought, yeah, I'd really like to try this one. There's another one as well that I would like to try, which is a Case IH. Um, it's, it's called the Case IH 32000L or something, or L32000, something like that. Um, basically, you know our self-propelled... Um, baler that we've got it looks very similar in appearance to that except you've got the um, the piece on the front like the combine um, front and, and the pickup reel and that which is actually operates as a mower and then it's got a the Pottinger forage wagon on the back with a 32,000 litre capacity that thing looks awesome it genuinely looks awesome it is converted from FS15 um, and again I haven't been able to find an original link for it and I thought well we don't really need that much grass at the moment. It's mostly we're going to be about um, doing some silage bales. So I thought, well, I'll come up here and I'll do it. We'll just mow this field. And it has occurred to me that we don't have any other grass to mow, do we? We've just got this. And I didn't go and plant any other grass anyway. Now, I can't lift the mowers up. I can't raise them. Um, remember, I'm still going backwards here. Um, overall, I'm fairly pleased with this mower. Um, we are using one of the largest mowers in the world this this thing is pretty fantastic i've got to admit um and if the the problems with the, the steering and everything could be ironed out it would make it even better um and if hired help was available again even better now watch this this is one thing that i have noticed about this one it's one of those types of mods see <laughs> right is that mower it, it will catch up if you, if you, oops, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is absolutely. Let's try going backwards. I've, I've just sort of set the. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm, no, I, I thought I was going to lose two for a minute. So now we'll come out like this. Boom. <laughs> it's, it's like it's on an elastic band. It's fantastic. Uh, let's try it with one in a little bit further. I mean, we've done our mowing already i don't think no that one doesn't really do it very well um it does bend it round 
but it doesn't leave it behind like that one does. That is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, that is. Well, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see what happens when we go up past that one as well. <laughs> okay, now we've got a long way across. The, it's starting to... There we go. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. I love that. I just, as well, it's, it's worth messing around with this mod just to have a bit of fun with that bit. It really is. Right, well, let's switch this one off. We'll fold it back up. Um... Have we got any more grass anywhere that we can cut? We've got a tiny bit back at the main yard, haven't we? Um, I don't really think we've got very much else grass. No, I'm, yeah, now, now I'm having to turn the opposite way. I was a little bit over here, I suppose. Now, right, let's not worry about any more grass. We'll return this one. Um, we'll do it the long distance way. So, yeah, this is just a quick look at this, um, this mod. I thought it'd be great fun to have a quick look at it. And I'll return this one now take it off of higher i will take that tractor out and we'll return that tree planter we get the challenger going just to plant the very last of the trees right that other one has been returned i'm going to set the challenger going right here and there isn't very much left of this field to plant now so that one can go it'll use up the very last of it there and this one here, I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to drop the tree planter off for a second because I'm not quite sure which one is the one that we're, we're currently using. So if I, oh, there, lower that one down and drop them off there, we'll get the rake. We should have, we got a rake in here? Yes, we have. And um, we'll get this rake and we'll rake up the grass there. And then probably, actually, it's going to have to be tomorrow now. We'll um, get that baler going and bale up. Oh, I wonder, can we do... No, the problem is, if I try and set it on follow me, I've got the um, challengers being used. I was just thinking maybe I could put the challenger on the baler and we could just follow me around the field um, and do that in a single pass. But I like the idea of using the follow me like that. However, the only issue is that it, um, it takes quite a while to... It, it, not, not, not quite a while, it's... It's difficult when you, you're like trying to finish up the field with the raking. Um, you've got bales all over the place and they, they really do get in the way of the rake. Um, so it's probably better if we just try and do it like this. The one thing I don't like about this rake is that you've got to drive at quite a speed when you're unfolding it so that you don't rip the tyres abroad as you're um, unfolding it. Right, there we go. And you do actually have to go quite a speed. I've had a few people tell me that they've used one of these in real life and you've got to go quite fast across the field in order to get it to fold up properly um so let's just switch it on lower it down and we'll start doing around the outside edge with this one um there we go so there's no problem with the grass or anything that's been left behind by that class cougar uh the only issue really that has shown up with that one you know what yeah so anyway the only issue really has shown up with that one is the um the way that it operates um, with the, the steering and the lack of hired help and everything. Um, the, the appearance of the textures and everything is flat, but that's just because of the game that it was made for. It's a straight conversion from FS11. Um, and that I can overlook. I can overlook that bit just fine. It's, it's the, um, the, the way that it operates is <laughs> slightly annoying. But anyway, um, the grass that it puts out is just fine. And we could have actually put this on Follow Me behind that one, I guess. I mean, I I don't know that that might be that might have been worth um, playing around with, I suppose. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know on that one, but anyway, um, it it doesn't really matter. We can't use the hired help on it, so um, I guess. Well, I'd, actually, I don't know. Maybe the GPS would have worked on it. I genuinely don't know. There's a few issues with that mod, anyway, and um, yeah, I think maybe. If someone can sort of uh, iron out those issues, or if there is actually a real version of the mod somewhere that um, is like a current version that's not a, a stolen copy, um, ideal, we'll use that one instead. That would It would be a lot better if we could use the actual version that is released by whoever it is that has made it, um, and, and we can try that. So, um, yeah... Anyway, anyway, that's that's neither here nor there now because uh, we've we've sort of finished with that. We're going to try and set the hired help going on this one in just a moment. It should work. It should work. 
but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work. Um, I'm going to set it right to the edge of the field. I know that I'm overlapping quite a bit there, but there we go. Right, hide help is working and doing a grand job. That'll gather up all of that. So we should be able to have some nice straight lines on here. Then we will bail it up and we will use the um, wrapper. In uh, we're going to have we're going to have to lease the wrapper actually. How much does it cost to lease that wrapper? Because we don't have one at the moment. It's not in mowers. It'd be in baling somewhere. Where's baling technology? There. Uh, that one there is the bale wrapper. We don't have one at the moment. Foil color. Uh, you know, we'll probably choose a different foil color this time around. That's 4,000 to lease it. So we'll need to do three bales in order to pay for that one's leasing costs. Only three. That's actually pretty good because you get like $1,400 for selling a bale, which is a huge sum of money. It's a massive sum of money. Um, how many bales we will get in this field? I genuinely got no idea. At a guess, I would say 20. That is my guess. So 20 bales... Um, all wrapped up and sold. We're going to leave a little tiny strip down here, aren't we? It does tend to do this with the hired help on the rake. You do sometimes find it leaves a little tiny bit. There, it's left another little bit. Um, and it did a, it left a piece further back up as well. And another bit there. It's not very good the way that it does that. We'll have to we'll have to just sort of override it on the next pass, um, so that we can just make sure it moves over just that little tiny fraction more, and we can grab it. Right, that's okay and let it come out here and then we'll come up and swivel it round like that and line it up there we go oh i forgot to ask you my question for this week right my question for this week is we are moving to gorali and we now know that we're going to be starting with 100 cows and one million dollars how would you like me to operate time on that map? Now, I'm not going to offer you the same three options that I offered you in um, for Water Valley because we are now doing um, normal time on there and then fast forwarding whenever we need to. And we've got uh, plant growth on fast. So that's not going to be an option. I'm going to give you either the same. You can either have the same as this one, plant growth on normal with um, the time set to five times the normal speed or you can have plant growth set on uh, slow and we will put time on 15 times normal speed it's one or the other i'm deliberately not giving you the option for regular um time because i don't want to have uh, both of our let's plays being exactly the same so that is your two options the same as you got here which is five times speed and normal growth rate or 15 times speed and slow growth rate. It's your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. We are almost out of time. We'll have enough time to finish doing the raking. So tomorrow we're going to be baling and then we're going to be wrapping. And I am going to try putting the baler on the challenger and then we'll get the wrapper and we'll bring it up here with a voucher and we will attempt to put that on follow me and we will see how that works out. I know that it's quite sensitive with the follow me with the square bales because you do have to it's got to get lined up fairly well um, and if you don't have it lined up exactly right it can lead to a few issues now if I I'm just gonna move this over a little bit before I actually set the hired help All right, I think that should be about right set the hired help going there and it'll do one more pass on hired help which I will override it it's, it is slightly frustrating, the fact that it moves over a teensy bit more than it should. But what I think it's doing, I think it's actually taking... Well, I was going to say it's taking the edge of the bar on there. But it looks like it um, it rakes everything up to that bar anyway. So that shouldn't... Oh, no, no, it's, it's just... It's, it's like halfway in the bar and it's just kind of... Um, it causes it to miss a little tiny bit by the look of it. Um, so it's, it's not the end of the world but at the same time it's um it's, it's one of those annoying little glitches that um it, it can frustrate but it's, it's not the end of the world it's a bit like the whole thing with the hired help if you just set the field the um the hired help going in a field any field it doesn't matter which one um and you just leave it you start it on one side and you just leave it almost invariably when it gets to the end of the field and it has to do the final pass or it's got one and a half widths left to go it will move or it'll get part way across the field and that's my timer to say that it's time to stop 
um, it'll get part way down the field and then it will turn round and come back again and then say it's finished when it's left a, a chunk on the field and for those of you who watch my time lapse series you know that but you know by now that um in order to sort of get past that what i do is i i kind of follow the tractor or combine or whatever it is down one side of the field when it gets to the end i then move it over to the other side of the field and then let it carry on and that deals with that issue it, it's it's no problem at all then you don't you don't have any issue it's frustrating that we've got to do that but it's such a minor thing to have to deal with it that it's it's kind of you know it's one of those things that I don't tend to think about very much. Um, and, yeah, so you, you've got those kinds of issues that sometimes are dealt with so simply that you, you just don't have to pay them any more attention. And it it also works out quite nicely in the time lapse series because I'm having to watch the machine down one side of the field first before I turn it round. It's basically sort of ties in with the time lapse anyway in that um, I'm... I'm just watching the machine where we're watching it work so I, I can sort of show it while it's operating and then when it's finished um, you know once we turned it around at the other end of the field we can then go and um, look at something else and that works out quite nicely but doing a let's play it can get a bit frustrating um, sometimes so that's I, I tend to sort of do that little bit like uh, I'll put in um, put in a cut or something like that and um, so that we can keep things moving um, unless I can find something to talk about and I'm generally fairly good at finding things to talk about, so, I, you know, I can very often just sort of talk right over the top of it. Now, I've only just asked you my weekly question, so I won't ask you that one again. Um, but we have run out of time. Our challenger has finished up there, so I will get that one back. We've got a tiny little gap in the middle. I'm pleased with this. We have planted our field of poplars. I'm pleased with this. I think this is a good result. It took us a while. We were planting all last week, um, but now it's finished and look at that field of poplars so now what we've got to do is we've got to get the money so that we can lease the forager and that is the last thing i just want to have a look at very quickly we were going to go for the new holland fr 850 and that one is going to cost us 30 grand to lease and then we also need i suppose i could go for that one that's 385 so it's a little bit more that one and i could also make the engine bigger but Oh, that's yeah that's thirty two thousand. That that goes up a bit more and then we can get um although that's i'm not sure what that one is us oh, logos something to do with the logos again as design stuff wheel setup tracks jewels uh wide tires i'm guessing standards crawlers jewel tires and then you've got Right, you've got two different types of tyre there. I'm not quite sure what those ones were. People did tell me in the comment section, and now I can't remember. So I'm very sorry that I don't remember, but I don't. Um, crawlers or jewels? Probably I would go for crawlers, actually. I quite like the idea of doing it with crawlers. But that's that's going to take us 33,600. Whereas the standard one, this one, is 30,000. So it's probably better if we just stick with this one. It's 824 horsepower. You can't really ask for much more than that. And then if we go on to the headers, it's this header right here that we need. And that one is another 2,000. So we're looking at around 30 grand. So we got enough money already. But, you know, getting a few extra bales is certainly not going to hurt. And then I would like to get something like one of, I mean, what the, what's this one here? There's no difference, I think, in those two apart from the fact that you can colour that one. Um, I'd like to get something like that one that has the ability to cut the poplars as well. Um, yeah, poplars there, that one's corn, that one's grass and hay, and that one cuts the crops. So yeah, if we could get one of those that's just been modded to accept poplars, I know, I know it's completely unrealistic. There is nothing realistic whatsoever about one of those Kempers cutting poplars. It's, it's completely outside the realms of possibility. It's, it's not that it's slightly unrealistic, it's completely impossible. There is no way that one of those could cut a um, cut down a field of poplars, and also the fact that um, the sheer quantity of material that is then blasting through the forager, it would probably obliterate the uh, forager as well. So, all things considered, it would be very very bad. But however, um, we don't need to worry about that because this is a game, and I will do realistic to start with, and we'll take a look at it, and then we will just you know get the job done, get it all finished. And this one needs to head back to the dealership. We'll put the Challenger on that baler. 
Um, those, I'll return those later. I'll, I'll deal with that later. So anyway, um, yeah, I already asked you my question, the time scale thing. Um, make sure you vote on that one. I'd really like to know what you want me to set up for on Garali. We don't have that long left before we are actually moving there. Tomorrow we will do the baling and um, wrap the bales up as well. We're going to attempt to set it up on Follow Me. I don't know how well that's going to work because of how sensitive the wrapper can be when you've got to get the bales lined up. But we'll give it a go. We'll see what we can do. Um, I think that's just about everything. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.